Hi and welcome to another video. Uh, this time around we're going to look at installing this little thing which is the uh, roofing filters for the IC9100. Um, the radio comes with a standard 15 kilohertz filter and you can install two options which is the uh, FL430 which is a 6 kilohertz one and the FL431 which is a 3 kilohertz filter. So um, I'm going to look at how these are installed and uh, how you can uh, select them from the front panel. And in the next video, we should have the UX9100, which is the 23cm module. And that will be ready to install as well. And we'll show you how to install that with some pictures of the internals of the IC9100, which I don't think uh, many people have seen. So, I'll um, install this filter and let you have a look at it. Okay, so here we are with the uh, IC9100 on the bench, and to get the cover off, you need to remove these uh, screws on the top here, you can see the six of them on the top, and then on the side we have uh, three screws on each side, and that should remove the top cover, so that's the first part of the job, and uh, that's the first thing I'll do, and then I'll come back to you. Okay, so here we are with the uh, top cover off, and this is the... Uh, interior chassis of the IC9100. Now, uh, to get into the filters and uh, to mount the UX9100 23cm module we need to take the bottom off and um, there's a whole pile of screws that are marked in the uh, manual around the um, removal of the bottom cover. So if you follow that and I'll do the same and then you can uh, see what's on the inside. Okay, so here you can see the uh, bottom of the IC9100 and you can see the uh, place for the two filters here on the uh, board here and you can see the uh, fairly substantial construction including this uh, lovely um, heat sink for the fans for the uh, finals and um, it's a fairly well built piece of kit this hole here is where the UX9100 interface board sits and the, you can see the gap there at the back where the antenna socket pokes out for 23 and 23 sits in that little hole in there. So it's a, a fairly uh, well built, um, it weighs about 11 kilos all, in, all up so it's quite a hefty uh, piece of kit and uh, this is the, um, the finals board. You can see lots of interconnection. Here's all the interconnection ready for the uh, for the um, UX9100 for the interface. Okay, so I'm going to put the filter in now, and I'll show you that in a second. So here's one of the uh, filters. Uh, this one is the uh, FL430. There is um, two optional filters. There's an FL430, which is the six kilohertz uh, filter. And there is also the FL431, which is the 3 kilohertz one. So um, I'm going to put this one in and show you how it looks. Now first we're going to get it out of the box. If I can do this one-handed. <laughs> he says. Okay. So first thing you'll notice about the, uh, the filter is... Uh, that is it. Oops. That's the filter there. And as you can see, the filter is just simply a ceramic uh, a roofing filter in the middle there with a couple of transformers at the end. And it's on a very small uh, board. And um, that plugs into the, uh, the main board here. So that's what I'm going to do now. There's two connectors on the filter board there. And as you can see, they're, they're both different. So um, it's quite easy to line up the uh, filter in the right way. So um, this one, um, as you can see, matches up with one side. And there'll be a slightly different connector. So it's not possible to mix them up. So I'm going to put this in now and then uh, show you what the, uh, the board looks like when it's in. I can't really do this uh, at the same time. So uh, apologies if I'm cutting scenes in between. Okay, I decided to put it on the... Uh 
camera on the tripod. So here's the, uh, the filter and with the connector and as you can see the uh, connector matches up to this one here so all uh, we do to uh, install the filter is actually push it into place and that's the filter um, this one's the uh, 6 kilohertz one and the one that fits in here is the 3 kilohertz one I'm actually still waiting for that in the post it should be here this week so um, next time I'm uh, doing this I'll uh, put the, both filters in as you can see there's uh, quite a lot of um, filtering on the boards and um, all these lovely connectors and uh, here's the um, uh, ATU uh, down in the front with the uh, servos and um, the little uh, tuning motors with the uh, the couplers and uh, here's all the uh, antenna uh, switching and uh, filters for the uh, and uh, couplers for the SWR as you can see there's quite a nice uh, fan on the uh, the main heatsink here actually I've only had this uh, operating once and that's with the um, with WSJT so it's all solid has a very very hefty um, main uh, chassis that it's all uh, bolted to and uh, this nice flowing uh, heat sink uh, with the air gets in and actually there's a hole in the bottom of the case where the um, air is drawn in. So that's the uh, internal part, that's as easy as it is, there's no soldering with these filters anymore and um, quite easy to, uh, to put in. So what I'll do now is I'll put the case lid back on and um, then you can uh, see how the filters are selected. Okay, that's the filters in. Um, you can see them on the uh, filter board here. So this is the three kilohertz one here, and then sitting next to it is the uh, six kilohertz one. And um, they just go on little connectors, and they just literally push onto the board and uh, sit there quite nicely. Um, so um, that's the two roofing filters in. So you've got fifteen kilohertz, uh, six kilohertz, and three kilohertz in there. Okay, with the roofing filters installed and the covers back on, I'll now show you how to uh, select the filters from the front panel here. And these are selected from inside of the filter menu. So I'll go into the filter menu now and show you how to select them. So here we are on the front panel of the radio. And uh, to select the filters, just press the filter button and uh, hold it. And now you can see you're into the filter menu. On the right hand side here you'll see that the display is now changed from the normal radio without the filters. Uh, in this case it says 2.4 kilohertz which is the uh, bandwidth selected and R15 which means that the roofing filter is selected at 15 kilohertz and soft which is the side walls of the filter which you can press by pressing F5 you can change these to sharp or to soft. Um, as before you can change the bandwidth and then uh, change the uh, main bandwidth of the filter using the VFO knob and additionally now if I press and hold F5 you can see that it's now changed to 6 kilohertz if I change it back it's back to 15 kilohertz or back to 6 kilohertz. Now if I had the other uh, roofing filter that's uh, in the post um, already in my uh, pocket um, I could install this and show you that uh, actually that would go to uh, three kilohertz as well. But for uh, brevity, um, I'm not I'm not waiting to uh, for the filter to arrive before I post this. So that's how to select them. Now one uh, thing to worthy of note is that this is only uh, going to appear on bands that have uh, an HF frequency. So, for example, if I now uh, press and hold the main mode. Uh, sub button button. If I go to the here and go to two meters, you'll notice that the display has changed and that the roofing filter is no longer available. So this is quite an important point to remember. If I press and hold it now, the only thing that will happen is it will change the filter characteristics from soft to sh and sharp. So if I go back to uh, 40 meters where I was before, and you'll see we're back with the roofing filter, and I can actually change that. So that's the installation of the filters and uh, give you some insight and pictures of the internals of the 9100 
and also how to uh, change a, uh, the roofing filter sizes. Uh, next video we'll look at the 23cm module and um, how that uh, installs but also uh, what kind of features and functions that gives you. Okay, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video and you found it uh, of use.